Wedding and event celebrations usually involve popping some champagne and possibly some specialty cocktails. But for a business to open up the bar when it comes to a special party or a wedding, that owner first has to ask the city for a special liquor license. And that's what happened to one Minot businessman recently trying to get the approval of the city council. But as Kiara Brown tells us, it wasn't an open and shut case. Duck Pond Ventures is a business categorized as a beer garden. They supply beer, wine, and liquor for special event centers that don't sell alcohol. The owner of Duck Pond Ventures, John Lackaduck, requested the council to approve a liquor license in a hurry for his event on March 11th. But there were some concerns with Lackaduck's request. Miners being present where alcohol is being sold is the main one. That's why Minot Police Chief John Klug disagrees with the request, stating to the council it's an unhealthy and unsafe way to conduct a business. I might take particular offense to the uh, comment about it not being a healthy or safe way to conduct business um, to uh, cater people's weddings. We will handle the alcohol. Um, that is our expertise. That's my profession. Um, I will handle uh, that in a secure, safe uh, manner that public uh, promotes uh, celebrations and not something that turns into, for lack of a better term, a frat party. So let's break down liquor licenses in our state to see where Lackaduck falls. On-sale licenses are for bars with the regulation of attendance from people only 21 and older and restaurants with the regulation of food sales and Lackaduck doesn't fall under either. Off-sale licenses are for liquor stores and other retailers that sell alcohol, which also has the regulation of 21 and older. That's not the case for Duck Pond Ventures. A special event permit requires proof of liability insurance and must be obtained at least 10 days prior to the event. Lackaduck is a little late to the party for that one. I think the problem here is an attorney wasn't sought for his business. He didn't even file a transfer until this year, and now we're trying to rush to get his event approved. I don't think that's the way we should be doing business. His mistake is not our mistake. Chief Klug also stated to the council, if Lackaduck's request is approved, what stops a bar, for example, Sports on Tap, from applying for the same license and minors being able to attend its bar? The council agrees it's entering dangerous territory, but they also agree with Lackaduck's intent. They want to find a way for his business and others like it to approve this niche service. We have to fix this. We have to, there's a problem in the city for, you know, these kinds of situations where there's not an appropriate license. Our ordinances are not malleable right now to, to accommodate requests like Duck Pond is asking. Lackaduck expressed that not obtaining this license would result in the death of his business. But the council ultimately denied his request. For KX News, I'm Kiar Brown. Even though the council declined at Duck Pond Ventures alcohol license request, members agreed to take a deep dive into liquor permits and licenses in order to be better prepared when the topic comes up for conversation again.